Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I thought I would swatch these Essence Matte 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 Long Lasting Lip Glosses. I went to my local drugstore pharmacy the other day called Dischem, and I saw these there. They were unpacking the new stock right before my eyes, and I was like, damn girl, I gotta get my hands on these. Um, because a lot of you seem to like my Revlon swatching video that I did a couple months ago. So I thought, hey, let's do another one, and also, who doesn't love Essence? So, I'm really excited to show you guys more about these. There's five in the range, and anyway, I'll chat a whole bunch about them. But if you're not yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and join my little family we've got going here on YouTube. And also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it at some point throughout the video. But yeah, without any further ado, let's get swatching! Okay, quickly before we swatch, guys, I'm going to do the world's quickest review on these. Basically, there's five shades in the range. I don't know if you can see this. I'll put a picture up, sorry. Um, but yeah, there's five different shades in the range, uh, lightest to darkest, obviously, and they all seem to have a cool purpley, bluey undertone, which is really nice. Um, South African rands, they retail for about 50 bucks. I have no idea what these would cost overseas. But here in South Africa, roughly 50 rand is what you're looking at. They smell like vanilla cupcake. They literally... It smells like a vanilla cupcake. There's no other way about it. It smells absolutely beautiful. And then lastly, guys, probably the most important part is this is a matte lip gloss. It is not a liquid lipstick. Do not get this confused with a product like Allegro um, or even these Revlon lip colors. They're just basically a matte lip gloss. So they don't last like the entire day. Um, they last as long as a lip gloss would. Hope that makes sense. So whatever you do, do not buy this product thinking it's going to be a liquid lipstick because it's not. It's a matte gloss. Okay? You guys get that? I hope you do. Great. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just quickly wipe off. I've got a bit of lip ice on. Okay, so onto the first one, the lightest shade. This is called La Vie Est Belle? Bella? Damn, I don't know. I'll, I'll put the name over here. On it goes. Okay, that is the first one, as mentioned. <laughs> It is called La Vie Est Belle. Beautiful, beautiful shade. It is just so lovely. I really like this one a lot, actually. It does seem to come out a little bit streaky, but just another coat over the top. Beautiful. I really like this. It's very, very soft, um, moussey kind of texture. And as mentioned, it doesn't set, or it's nothing like a liquid lipstick, so it does move around. It is movable, it moves around. Anyway, so again, that is 01 La Vie Est Belle. Okay, so number two is this one. It is called O2 Beauty Approved. <laughs> very, very nice looking shade. This was the one I just swatched. So this one's just basically very similar, but more dusty, kind of dirty, nude shade. Very, very nice. So let's get swatching. Wow, that is almost identical to my natural lip color. So that is number two, Beauty Approved. What a stunning color. I really, really like that. It's actually quite a lot different on the lips, not from the tube, but from the other shade. I thought it was a bit similar, as mentioned, just a bit dusty, but it's actually really brown. Damn, girl. I really like the shade a lot as well. As mentioned, that is O2, Beauty Approved. Very, very nice one, guys. Mm. Okay, onto the third one in the collection. This one, it's called O3 Girl of Today. Absolutely beautiful. I really like the look of this shade. Okay, my goodness, not the best application I've ever done. But anyway, as mentioned, this is 03, Girl of Today. Another really gorgeous color, guys. Perfect for every day, nice meeting, or going out on a date. Just a stunning, stunning shade. I really like this one as well, guys. What do you think? Hmm. Okay, onto the next one. This is 04, Ready, Set, Impress. I feel like these shades are just gonna work for everyone. 
I don't know, they're just really universally flattering, I think. Anyway, let me just apply this. Here we go. Ooh. This one, the texture actually feels quite a lot thinner than the others, interestingly. This is definitely more watery, if that makes sense. Not as moussey as the other ones. Goodness, guys, I have such thin lips to apply these colors to. Anyway, as mentioned, 04 Ready, Set, Impress. Another beautiful kind of almost maroony. This is a nice one. I just don't like that it's thinner. I feel like this one's been the hardest to apply so far. Um, especially, I don't know, around the edges. It is still a beautiful color though, I must admit. Stunning, kind of deep, maroony, plummy shape. Not plum, but you know what I'm saying. It's really, really nice. But as mentioned, seems a little bit more watered down for some reason. Yeah, that is 04 Ready, Set, Impress. Are you guys impressed? Huh? Huh? <laughs> okay, so finally number five, the last one in the collection. This one is called Simply Be an Icon. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> what am I saying? This shade, again, looks so beautiful. Ah, okay, this one's back to the same textures, a bit more moussey and all the rest. guys it's got that blue undertone so so beautiful as mentioned 05 simply be an icon super impressed oh my goodness guys I really like this color a lot I don't particularly look good with dark lips but I would wear this I would go out in this shade love it guys wow okay 05 simply be an icon um, I just thought I'd put these in the container so I can show them to you guys without holding them like a spaz. But yeah, my favorite color would definitely have to be this one. I applied it again because it's just such a beautiful pink nude shade. It's definitely more flattering for my lip shape as well because my lips are so thin. So all these darker shades always just emphasize how thin my lips are. So definitely a fan of this one. The one I can't pronounce, La Vie Estabelle. This one, I would say, as mentioned, is just quite a bit more watery for some reason. Maybe it's just the one I picked up, but I wasn't too much of a fan of this one. But I mean, it's such a, it's such a small thing to, to bitch about, if you know what I'm saying. They were all really, really nice. I think Essence hit the nail on the head with the color range. But yeah, guys, I think that is it for this video. I really hope I didn't miss anything out, and I hope this was comprehensive enough. If not, I do apologize. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button if you're not yet subscribed. And also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. But until next time, bye! <laughs>